is an extreme rules match. Making his way to the ring from England, weighing in at 241 pounds, Tony. Now this competitor, they just don't know when to quit. They can be outnumbered 10 to 1 in a match and it's still walk into the ring with a smile. You know what? I'd still bet on them. They've got such incredible heart. They never give up on themselves. Well, if you're going to be dumb, you got to be tough. I mean, this has got to be a surreal moment. How nervous are you right now in the ring? He can't get lost in the magnitude of the moment because he has to prepare for an encounter with the Beast Incarnate. The Beast is here. Time for a beatdown, cowboy style. And his opponent, from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 295 pounds, Brock Lesnar. It is cowboy time at the Showcase of the Immortals. Brock Lesnar has been a WrestleMania main eventer ever since his first WrestleMania, where he won the WWE title from Kurt Angle. Since then, he's had many main event encounters against the likes of Triple H and Roman Reigns, even ended the Undertaker streak. But this man has a WrestleMania chip on his shoulder after losing the championship unification match against Roman Reigns at the biggest WrestleMania match of all time. This match is going to come down to who has the better endurance, who can capitalize on the small opportunities, because there probably won't be many. I agree, Corey. It's going to be evident in a hurry who's been working on their cardio to build up their stamina. As the saying goes, fatigue makes cowards of us all. Oh, there are no cowards in the WWE, Michael, but you make your point. If you don't have enough gas in the tank, you're definitely not going to win an Iron Man match. He'll head to the ring. the attack just a smidge quicker. Lesnar, this could be it. Cover. Fending off a two count there. These men knew this match is going to be hard fought. He must have had that scouted. Looking for more damage here. Release back suplex. Ouch. <laughs> I honestly can't believe we just saw a human being tossed like that. We've seen the light superstars are willing to go to an Extreme Rules match to earn the victory. What do you have to do to get yourself in that mindset? It's all about adapting in Extreme Rules. You really have to be creative and maybe even a little crazy if you want to succeed.
Hmm, it doesn't seem like either superstar is in any rush to keep the fight going. Maybe this is my games? This match grinded him down a little. Steel stairs to the face. Oh, a by the steps. That'll make you reassess some things. The resolve to put the pedal to the metal. Oh, Brock put a stop to that. Earth-shaking power slam. Lesnar on the wrong side of that exchange. Oh, it gets put into the barricade. Determination in his eyes, and now a kendo stick in his hands. Kendo stick in back. Oh, he's looking shaky at best now. And this is, uh, well, it's not looking good. Right now, Brock needs to find the form that has made him a dominant. 
dominant force. Oh. And that's a job of a fall. That's a job. Oh, now what could this be? Oh, don't do this. Hung up in the barricade. And a big boot. Counter. Counter 
of ring IQ on display there. Good defense. Tensions really running high now. Uh, yeah, we should probably clear the way, guys. Bang! 
Attacking the knee. Yeah. Oh, look at the knees. Just endless knee strikes. Things. He's able to combat out of Brock's grip. And he gets delivered back into the ring. Taking a moment to let the crowd know how much he appreciates it. Okay, consider that a harsh lesson. celebrating right now.